can you share with us some new features or upcoming releases in Streams if you have something that is okay? We have some ideas to put in Streams in the upcoming versions. Can you tell us about it? So, okay. I can definitely talk about the features we plan. Talking about the timing okay. is a bit harder especially cool. because the whole Zookeeper thing, which we just talked about, uh, <laughs> needs to be done as well. And it's a bit unclear what exactly will it mean, how much work that will be. But so there are several things which we want to look into. Uh, one of them is a bit improved the uh, way we use cruise control and the way it is integrated. So right now mm -hmm. you can't really use it to trigger the cluster rebalance and move the partitions and replicas around but ideally we would want to integrate it a bit tighter and use it also for example to change replication factors of topics which uh, we don't currently support in the in the topic operator but also have it for example better integrated into scale downs and scale ups so that, for example, when you need, uh, it's not necessarily something you do twice per day to scale the Kafka cluster up and down, but when you need it to have the, the partitions and replicas moved uh, automatically without having to do it manually. So, yeah, I think that's quite a lot of work, uh, but yeah, I think that's a lot of things where we can improve. Uh, Another thing uh, which I'm personally quite excited about is I think we will try to have a look at getting rid of the stateful sets. Uh, so right now when we deploy Zookeeper or Kafka, we always use Kubernetes stateful sets to deploy them and that creates the pod. But so we want to have a look at if we can get rid of the stateful set and manage the pods directly. Uh, and that should then also help mm -hmm. us to play a bit more with things like multi-cluster deployments. Uh, uh, so that, for example, you have some Kafka brokers on one Kubernetes cluster, other brokers on different cluster and, and things like that. So I think that's, uh, that's quite exciting, at least for me personally. Uh, and just to be clear, these are really more long-term goals, right? To get there. <laughs> that definitely takes many releases and many months of work. It's unfortunately not something what will be in the next release. Uh, uh, something what we also wanted to have a look at, we have, the, we have the connector operator for managing the connectors. And in the, I think it was 020 release, we added this declarative Kafka Connect build where you can declare all the jars or zips with the connectors directly in the Kafka Connect resource. And I think it would be quite cool if you were able to have on the website some catalog for the connectors where you really see the configurations and you can just copy paste them from there, basically. Uh, there's also uh, uh, some things which are kind of coming in Kafka and we want to look at it. The, the tiered storage, which I think should come with 3.0 as well. That's, I think, interesting feature and that would be nice to have and also uh, uh, I'm also involved a bit with the AMQP uh, technical committees which are the OASIS organization and there we worked uh, or I was really more reviewing and commenting on it but there's a work on uh, AMQP event streaming specification which would allow to use the AMQP protocol to uh, access event streaming platforms such as Kafka. So that's now in, uh, in public review and anyone who is uh, interested in that uh, can uh, have a look at it. And then once it's approved or hopefully even before that, uh, we should implement it into the uh, bridge which we have in Streamzy, uh, where uh, uh, you should be then able to use it. We already have there some support for, for AMQP bridging, but we want to make sure that it follows this, uh, this uh, specification. So that's more kind of the, the long-term view. Uh, on, on the, in the more short-term, uh, what to look into for the next release. Uh, the main focus on the next Streamzy release is really to finish the move to the 
custom resource definitions version one, which will be required for Kubernetes 1.22. So that's really the the main focus there. And uh, I hopefully would like to start work on that fully, or I mean work on the releasing the new release, uh, hopefully next week, uh, and make sure that everyone is ready and is using that. Uh, uh, before Kubernetes 1.22 are released, obviously. <laughs>